Ready? Trampoline on the back. Ground built. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that wasn't a good decision on my end. But at least we gave it a go. Look at the greenery, look at the mountains. I mean, this is just such a tranquil. I said it correctly. Tranquil? I said tranquil. Yeah, there you go. You got it there. Tranquil. Tranquil environment. So, guys, you guys are following me as I progress in English as well. Progress. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to check out quite a bit of unique properties. But instead of driving, we start our tour by walking today because this property, the condo that we are about to see is very, very close to the commercial district of Beverly Hills. So we simply left the office and we are on our way. So the property that we're gonna see now is 121 South Cannon. It's a condo, two bedrooms, three baths, 2,047 square feet, and it is listed for $1.55 million. So let's go check it out. So what's going on is it's currently tenant occupied. The tenant oh, it is, is. Yeah, and the tenant is leaving at the end of July. Okay. Um, it's been difficult to get into the place because of the tenant. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, so we toured the first property. First of all, Mikey, just show them how nice two to three streets away from Beverly and like how quaint and nice it is. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's a great unit. And if you want to own a house and then simply get down to the street and just walk to the restaurants, I mean, this is it. It really doesn't get much better than this. If convenience matters to you, if luxury means where you just drive five minutes from work and you work in Beverly Hills, this is a no-brainer. Alright, this is where I get my smoothies. And we keep going. Because we got a lot of houses to see. And we're back in the car again. Just took a little walk down the street to see this condo. What'd you think? Good one. Y'all already know that because chronologically, this will be later in the edit. Let's let's go. Douchemobile. So to give you guys a little facts. <coughs> Beverly Park is a gate exclusive gated community. Beverly Park consists of 80 homes and within the community they require the smallest home to be at least 5,000 square feet. And it's definitely one of the most prime parts of Beverly Hills. It is actually located in the Beverly Hills Post Office area. We're going through Beverly Hills Post Office right now, and soon we will be there. The house we are about to see is eight Beverly Park, seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, square footage not disclosed, and it is listed for $32.5 million. Those ovens. Look at this island with a custom built in double sink that has no center. I mean, this is as custom as it gets. You want some style? These are cool. Very, very cool. This is one of the most high end kitchens I've ever seen in Beverly Hills. Like a mini master. I mean, I know quality when I see it, and this house screams quality. It feels so solid everywhere. Everywhere. This is a unique system. You can literally control the temperature of your water digitally. So I really like this bench design that they came up with. I'm gonna say it's probably quartz that you can sit it while you're in the shower, and when you're done, you can sit on the other side and it is sealed with this beautiful glass. 
Looks like you can fit five or six friends too. Yeah, it's a party shower. All my life, more than anything, I've wanted a secret room. How cool is that? That is so cool. Good catch. I love interior curved walls. This must be the master? Yeah. Love the light fixtures. I mean, I have to fix my jacket for this master bedroom. You should that's, fix. That's how good it is. You need to fix that little curl in the back of your hair too. Oh yeah, I have it too. And that is a tranquility, aka tranquil. No, I still f it up. Unbelievable. <laughs> tranquil. 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 Tranquility. Tranquil. Right. You just set yourself up to be made fun of in this edit. I mean. This layout of the backyard, the pool, the tennis court, the basketball court, I would say this is just... Twinkle. Look at this door and the entrance. Because it meets your amazing, amazing amazing mode here. This is a cool one. This is really a cool one. I like that they're like, let's only have six seats. We don't need more than that. I like this like Egyptian kind of mystic vibe to it that they kind of throw in with the goals and the decors and the entrance and the brass. It's pretty cool. Are they comfortable? Only way to find out. Oh yeah, I'll watch a movie here. Straight up. I'm used to seeing expensive homes all the time, but certain house, certain houses speak to me, and this is just exquisite. The finishes are amazing, and here's another detail I like about this house. When you finish the house, and you need utilities such as drain lines, copper lines, electricals, it is tied in so seamlessly to this property, you can almost feel like it's all natural grounds, but all those details are within the property. Another thing, they have a trampoline built into the ground over here. Let's go check that out. Ready? Trampoline in the back. Ground built. Oh. <laughs> All right, that wasn't a good decision on my end. We're out here on the tennis court. Imagine owning a house like this. I can't. I said imagine. I still can't. Okay. We got the house up here. We're on the tennis court slash basketball court right now. And if that wasn't enough, they even have their own solar panel. They have a solar array? Yeah. Great job. Almost when I say farm that probably sustains this home. And you know it's really thought through. If you look at down there, they've actually poured specific caissons just for the solar panel. Look at this gate. Let me get some shots. What do they keep in there, King Kong? Is King Kong in there? Let us know in comment section below. The Jurassic Park foot. They open inward. Yep. Ever come to Beverly Park? Don't make that mistake. So guys, we just finished touring that amazing property in Beverly Park. I'm, I'm so impressed by it. The quality, the finishes, the layout, how well the entire space is thought out. And it just, it just makes sense. Sometimes we tour these really expensive homes and it feels like a big box that was just money put in versus this one, the details, the finishes, just the overall quality, it felt amazing. And I can definitely see this house trading around $30 million. She just turned 21. She put a sign on Sunset. It says, I'm legal. She says, I'm legal. Bro, bro. Sorry, I'm yelling too hard. Jesus. Divorce, HBO, check that out. And iPhone X Pro. How long that thing was, has been on? Like, why are you running an ad? I've had an iPhone ad there as long as I've lived here. Really? Since 2009, there's been an iPhone ad there. Another fun fact by Mikey. Mm -hmm. Burgundy shirt right now. <laughs> this is the shirt I wear like every f***ing video because... Uh, he has birds flying on it. So everybody out there, Mikey likes yeah, Mikey, birds. Yeah, yeah. Ennis, one of these days we're gonna, we're gonna have an Ennis funded shopping spree, right? <laughs> you know what we do? 
maybe in following weeks, Mikey should be the broker and I'll jump on that position. I'll be the one shooting the content. I mean, I could easily wear my suit. Exactly. We'll, the luck. we'll change our position. So let us know if you guys want to see that. But until then, we'll see you guys on the next video. So me and Mikey were just driving down on Rodeo Drive and look what we found. Look at this madness. This is dope. This thing looks crazy, man. So how check this out people we were literally shooting youtube and we saw you we made a u-turn so i can get this what up what's happening man what's the story behind this house uh, behind this car uh it all started from an accident instead of changing it i persevered wow so i made art and then art actually helps people's perception grow into a new idea of what life can be instead of this factory cookie cutter Black, everything you see every day so what was the inspiration behind this one these colors are so rich there's intensity with this car tell me exactly what you kind of imagined before you pursued with this car I didn't imagine anything you just went for it I went with the place of happiness and then I kept going with that so yeah. these are all my intuitive happiness colors gotcha and then what else the new cars that you're working on what do you got uh, I got four Aventurers coming up uh, Phantom Rolls Royce two Bentley's and that's I, oh and I'm doing TY dollar signs Porsche soon and then a lot of music videos trippy red yeah you know, a lot of people are reaching out so I'm, look, I'm looking at organizing all that awesome and for the people who wants to find you on social media that's it right there yeah I man if you just do Rosario R-O-S-A-L-I-O cool and, uh, I will also come up that's painted cool and uh, yeah, I do this for the people, you know, be the lighthouse. Everyone finds their own answers. Exactly. If you want to get inspired, look at his work. This is incredible. You see the inside? Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, hell yeah. Guys, look at this madness. I mean, incredible. you one more question to you man you're such an inspiring guy you really went for your dream over here you wanted to create something unique something specific to you to people who are out there they're having a hard time to explore and showcase their inspirations what they got to do how did you pull yourself out of it and made something this crazy uh, perseverance tunnel vision just have like a vision uh, but don't expect a way to get there uh, it's like having a an imaginary rock in front of your vision and you'll get frustrated because you're just sitting there and you're like and all you see is that rock it's supposed to be this way why am i not succeeding i think if you just allow yourself to be navigated by the gps within you to guide you on how it's supposed to unfold because how do we know what we don't know until we know what we know right it's like a paradox absolutely so it's a balance so i would say just find balance in yourself believe in yourself love yourself first and don't try to be like anyone else but Know, appreciate everyone else because everyone finds their own answers absolutely absolutely pleasure meeting you man this is amazing i'm i'm so inspired by you guys check him out